about Washington and Battery making a right on Washington. Um, somebody viewing is asking where to meet us. We're right now, we're at Washington and Battery. And we're going to walk up Battery towards Sansom at the U.S. Custom Building. I'm really bad at estimating people, but I would say about four to five hundred. between Battery and Sansom.
inglés y en español su atención, por favor. Thank you everybody for here. We are all the 99%. Yeah. Somos todos parte del 99%. Queremos empezar. We would like to start with uh, a blessing. No matter what faith or spiritual practice you believe in, it is good to start with love and, and, and faith of whatever kind you believe in. So we would like to ask our faith leaders to come forward and someone to start us off with a blessing. The system that we are in is a very, very greedy and dark system. This place is a very unwelcoming place. This place is a very dark place. And we are all prophets of light. The new movement that is coming up right now, the Occupy movement, teaming up with the workers movement, the immigrant rights movement, we are all together prophets of light in a system that is based on greed in a system that unwelcomes people. And like what we chanted, all we want are decent jobs, fair wages. And some people ask, well, why are you working here? Some of you are even undocumented. Well, I'm from the Philippines. The economic policies of this country mess us up with our countries, with our homelands. That's why we're here to take what's due, us and our families. So the blessing is a rousing blessing of revolution, a revolution of values, a revolution of the heart. We bring light in the midst of darkness. Whatever faith tradition we have, even if we don't have faith, for who we are in our struggle is our religion. Justice is our religion. We should go forth and fight and struggle. Amen. este sistema está roto y no es, voy a decirlo en breve, nuestra religión es justicia y todos estamos aquí como trabajadores o inmigrantes no pidiendo sino exigiendo justo que es buenos trabajos, sueldos de, con, con dignidad y respeto y no importa de qué país vinimos, Estados Unidos ha tomado una parte en derrotar la economía en ese país, por eso estamos aquí. So, el compañero nada más dijo que estamos aquí todos, la comunidad, inmigrantes, juntos para exigir justicia nada más y esa es nuestra religión también. So, uh, estamos aquí. Mi nombre es Denise Solis. My name is Denise Solis. I work, work with SEIU, United Service Workers West. We stand here today with folks from the community, from Occupy San Francisco, from Occupy. <laughs> Sacramento Occupy Woodland folks that are here today as well. Our, our members of the faith community, of other labor community, uh, SEIU caucus, uh, ULCCW, other unions that are here today, the laborers uh, community, Just Cause, we are all a community, we are all 99% to say today that we are all ordinary hardworking people and immigrant or not, we're all in this fight together. Um, we are here just because we want to make sure that the, the message to the 1%, we know that they're using tactics of intimidation and fear in our communities, whether it's fear that we are going to be unjustly deported or that they're going to take our homes if we're col our college students that are graduating and, and, and trying to find jobs in this economy. Everyone here is here because we need a change in our economic situation. We did not break this economy. The greedy CEOs, the 1%, the banks that got bailed out, they broke our economy. Yeah! We are seeing the 99% rise up everywhere in the country, and we are saying we're not going to stop until we have justice in this economy that not, not only benefits the 1%, but the 99% as well, because we are here together contributing to this country. Immigrant workers are contributing to this economy, it is not only not uh, a human humanitarian thing to do to separate families, but it also breaks our economy. When hardworking people are forced 
into the shadows are forced out of the out of out of our economy who contribute so we are here to say that SEIU United Service Workers West and all the other labor unions coming together the faith community the Occupy movements we are all the same we're working together for a better economy to take back our economy and to to really fight for the 99% support it I would like to call up some of our members of the community that are here, leaders in our community. Uh, we have Mr. Tim Paulson from the San Francisco Labor Council. Uh, we'd like to ask you to say a few words. Uh, thank you, and I want to thank United Service Workers West, SEIU, for organizing this rally. But this is the correct message that we need to see, not just in San Francisco, not just in California, but all across this country as we move into 2012. We have workers. We have workers with their unions. We have our nonprofits and our community partners. We have our faith partners. And we have Occupy San Francisco all together marching for what we need. And what is very good about this is that today we're not just talking about jobs, we're not just talking about Social Security, we're not just talking about capital sitting on tons of money and not producing it and giving it to the people and getting jobs out there, but we're also making sure that we are reminding ourselves that we are a community and a nation of immigrants. And what is happening and what has been happening with ICE over these last couple of years has been unconscionable. Our workers are being divided, they're being taken from their homes, they're being threatened. ICE agents are going into these buildings in San Francisco and taking our members and our family members and deporting them. And that is just downright wrong. That is downright un-American. I'll leave you with this last message. There is no such thing as an illegal human being. There is no such thing as an illegal worker. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. trabajadores que estamos sacrificando todos los días nada más para seguir adelante con nuestras familias y es no es justo que este país esté deportando gente que están construyendo a esta economía y estamos diciendo que no vamos a seguir no vamos a parar peleando hasta que haya justicia para todo el 99% que incluye inmigrantes trabajadores no importa de qué país venimos o qué es, qué es nuestra historia todos contribuimos a este país Entonces no es justo lo que ICE está haciendo, llegando a tratar de, de deportar gente, a separar familias, a dejar gente sin trabajo. Eso no es justo y no vamos a dejar que el 1% siga um, gan haciendo ganancias a nuestras espaldas, que siga tomando ventaja de esta economía quebrada, de esta, um, de esta inmigración injusta y necesitamos una reforma justa y una economía más justa para toda la gente, no nomás para el 1%. Entonces ese es el mensaje de hoy. Queremos también invitar a alguien que representa la comunidad indígena de, de, de muchas naciones. I'd like to also bring forward someone who, who's coming and representing um, our indigenous folks. And so, Juana Brittman. <laughs> How many people here feel that this is indigenous land? That this is for our land? Can I hear some voices? Can I hear some voices? It's a good day to be indigenous today. You know, three years ago, we came out here and shut down ICE in 2008 on October. And it was a beautiful day. We shut down this ugly place, this place of oppression. You know, when I look around, I see all these brave faces. And it really brings a smile to my face when I see these children here yeah. who are not afraid to teach them that we are not afraid. We should not fear this oppression. We should stand up in solidarity together as we are doing today. Every day. Every day we need to stand our ground. Because if we don't, we will lose an inch. And every inch that we lose, we cannot get back. So we have to fight with all our might and stand our ground. And I come to you today, I'm a Lakota, Menikaju. I'm a member of the Northern Tribes. So I come here in solidarity with my group, United Native Americans. And we were founded in 1968 in the Greater Bay Area in San Francisco. We were involved in the takeover of Alcatraz, Wounded Knee, 
couple long walks to call it. Rushmore, we reclaimed our sacred site. Now today, all of us as indigenous people, we must come together. We must at this point in time. It is almost 2012. And there are a lot of prophecies that are out there, but we must stand our ground together. We are all brothers and sisters here. We are all in one race and one blood. We are one people. It is time that we start thinking as one people. All the love that we have for our communities, we must share that with each other every day. Embrace your brothers and sisters today. We are all indigenous. A hope. Yeah. Woo! with a force of chance and also to say we will be back. This is not end today. We would like to thank again the, the SF Occupy folks, the Occupy, occupiers from Sacramento that are here, our labor brothers and sisters, uh, the laborers, Just Cause, United Service Workers West, the janitors. Yeah!
I'll be back on.